the prophet, that is, and he began to prophesy. Yeah, I heard the Spirit of God say, it shall be. It shall be even as I've told you. For I'm not a man that I would lie. I didn't say it, and then I'll go back on it. If I said it in my word, surely I'll bring it to pass. All you have to do is just believe it at last, and it shall come to pass. If I have spoken unto you by my spirit, no, not what you imagine in your mind, not voices that you heard out in the world, but that still small voice at the very center of your being. If I said it to you, I'll bring it to pass. Yeah, it shall surely come to pass. There are those here today that I've said to you some things about ministry. I've showed you things to come. For remember, saith the Lord, I said, when the Holy Ghost has come, he'll show you things to come. He'll show you things to come about your life. He'll show you things to come about your ministry. He'll show you things to come about the church. And occasionally he'll show you some things to come out in the world. But you see, God is not the God of this world. Satan's the God of this world. And God is primarily concerned with those things of his. And he will show you things to come. And if he showed you, they shall come. But you see, I've spoken unto some of you. And you've said, oh, now, 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 I must be getting off here. I mean, that just sounds too far-fetched. But ye say of the Lord, remember, I don't always bring it to pass next week, for there is no next week with me. I don't necessarily bring it to pass next month. There is no me- next month with me. I don't necessarily bring it to pass. Ogama, Vrebebe, Bregina, Credasus, Obava. And you said, is he talking to me? If he's talking to you, There's a witness in your spirit just now. If he's talking to you, yeah, yeah, there's something on the inside of you that just jumps for joy. That's what I said in tongues. I'll go back to what he was saying. And so, I don't necessarily bring it to pass next five years because there's no such thing as the next five years with me. I don't necessarily bring it to pass the next 10 years, for there's no such thing as the next 10 years with me. I don't necessarily bring it to pass the next 25 years, for there is no such thing as the next 25 years with me. I don't necessarily bring it to pass the next century, for there is no such thing as the next century with me, saith the Lord. Time is only in relation to you and to mankind. I'll be the same next week as I am today, saith the Lord. I'll be the same next week month as I am today. I'll be the same next year, next five, ten, twenty-five, next century as I am today. And so very often when I speak unto you, I'm speaking about the future. Don't despair because it doesn't come quickly, but merely wait and rejoice and flow with the Spirit and it shall surely come. And now is the time, time as far as you're concerned, Now is the time that these things shall begin to come to pass. For you see, time is running out. And time will fade into eternity. And so those things must come to pass before time runs out. And time is short. And so it shall come. And ye shall go. And ye, oh yeah, oh yeah, your life will be that which I told you it would be. And your ministry will be that which I told you that it would be. And those things that seemed impossible will surely come. And the hand of the Lord will come upon you in a new and a fresh way. The Spirit of God will move. The manifestation of his glory shall be as it has never been before in your life. Saith the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, yeah, that time of waiting, that time of waiting, that period of waiting, it never seems to be easy. Waiting, waiting, waiting. But you see, it takes the Lord time to prepare some of us. No, not to prepare himself, for he's always prepared, and he's always the same, he never changes. 
But we must grow. We must mature. We must, some of us, mature mentally. For in mind, we're still children. And some even who are older mentally are still teenagers. They need to mature mentally. All of us need to mature spiritually. And some things nothing but spiritual growth will teach you. It's taken me a little time, but I've just about got you ready. <laughs> oh, hallelujah! Glory to God. That's what the Holy Ghost said. Amen. I didn't say it. The Holy Ghost said it. Well, I heard you say it. I know it. That's where I got it. It was from him. <laughs> Amen. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, the Holy Ghost said, the Holy Ghost said, the Holy Ghost said, the Holy Ghost said. He may say, say things to you he's not even saying to me. He may say things to me he's not even saying to you. Then he may say some things that's pertinent to all of us. He evidently said this. How did he say this? I don't know. It doesn't say. But I'm, I am I'm personally believe one of the prophets spoke it out. Reading, I believe that because it mentions the prophets being there. And we know God uses uh, the greater gift instead of a lesser gift. At least one thing about it, they all knew it. Amen. Amen. It was all, it was, it was unitedly heard and unitedly agreed to. And then they fasted again. Well, that doesn't mean they went on 10 day fast. They just missed one meal and laid hands on them and sent them forth. My, 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 my. Some of you still hung up on what was said earlier. How can that be? <laughs> because God showed you some things about your future. Future life personally, future ministry. How can it be? How can it be? As long as you're going to question, you're going to keep putting it off. Quit questioning it. Just rest in it. Let him bring it to pass. In his own way and in his own day, it will come. But that period of preparation sometimes. Before he can bring it back, before he concerned, he could have done it yesterday from his standpoint. But you see, it takes time sometimes for us to change and get in that position. 